So I'm Bryony Gordon, I'm a columnist for the Daily Telegraph, um, and while I was off on maternity leave, I wrote this book called The Wrong Knickers. Um, I'm going to read an extract of it to you now, and I hope you're not too shocked. As the sun comes up, Josh continues in a state of deep slumber. How can a man who has just attempted to use butter as a sex aid sleep so soundly at night? I start to wonder what will happen when and if he wakes up. Will he drowsily put his arms around me, tell me what a great night he had? Will he kiss me on the forehead? I always imagine that after a night of shagging, couples kiss each other on the forehead and run his hands through my sexy, just woken up hair. I briefly consider extending a leg, brushing his calf sexily with a gracefully arched foot. Perhaps I can make the first morning move, start caressing his lower back with my hand. No, no, that's way too forward. The irony of worrying about being too forward with a man who hours earlier asked to cover you in butter is, for the moment, lost on me. But when he finally wakes up, he doesn't even put his arms around me. I have exposed myself to his flatmate. I have sacrificed a good night's sleep, worrying if he will be affectionate to me when he wakes up. And he doesn't even extend the courtesy of a hug. I feel desolate. My stupidity is beginning to make me physically ache, though that could just be the hangover. I pretend that I am coming round from a great night's sleep, rubbing my eyes and stretching my arms above my head a little too theatrically. He springs out of bed and announces he is late for work in a tone that suggests this is my fault, that the purpose of him bringing me back was to use me as a human alarm clock. If he just said that, I could have had him up and out of that house hours ago. He dashes around his room, letting out large huffs, as if taking me back to his flat and shagging me has actually turned out to be a bit of an inconvenience. He starts throwing my clothes at me without managing a single glance in my direction. My Levi's, my bra, my vest top. Clothes carefully selected a day ago to give off a nonchalantly sexy air. Clothes that now just stink of stale fags and last night's beer. And then he flings a pair of pink, silky knickers at me, which land on my lap, agent provocateur label side up. And he remarks to me very casually that those are pretty knickers. And it occurs to me that this is the only compliment he has paid to me since he woke up. And what's worse, it isn't even valid. It doesn't even belong to me because they are pretty, undoubtedly so, these silky size eight knickers of sex. But while they are all of these things, they are most definitely not mine. This is my first ever one night stand, and these are the wrong knickers.